Today, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Ian from Roll Call. We're going to talk about coolants, a few trade secrets, maybe dispel a myth or two as well. Ian, just tell us about Roll Call and let's start talking about coolant. Yeah, well, Roll Call, we're a UK manufacturer based in Swillington, just outside Leeds. Uh, so we develop uh, all our own products there, manufacturing from there, send them all over Europe from uh, that location. Today we're just going to focus on the metalwork and cutting fluids for the CNC machine shops. Okay, the thing we hear all the time is about price per barrel, but that, that, there's a lot more to kill it than price per barrel. So how, how do we get it over to the uh, the engineers watching and don't, don't focus on price per barrel? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very common uh, problem with cutting fluids. People people work on what's, what's called a bricks reading, which uh, we take from this little refractometer, which is a bricks percentage. It's not actually a true mathematical percentage, and this can confuse people. Uh, people will end up using a lot more cutting fluids than, than they anticipate. So we always talk about the price and sump, not the price and barrel. So how does that maths play out? If you've got a barrel of coolant for say 600 and one for 800, how does the 600 become more expensive than the 800? Well, it's not always the case, but it's something you should be aware of. And what we always say to people is, don't talk in, in bricks, refractometer readings, talk in 10 to 1, 20 to 1, 30 to 1. So understand what you're actually diluting at. And once you understand that, you will know how much usable fluid you're going to get from your barrel. There we are. Do your research. So obviously you've got lots of currents in here. We're not going to talk about them all, but maybe you can just some of the highlights. Yeah. So we base our fluids on maximum dilution. So we're always looking to make a product that is the most cost effective in the sump. So yes, it may be four pounds a litre, in comparison to two or three pounds a litre, but is it 10 pence in sump against 20 pence in sump? So that's what we try, try and focus on. So we're looking at, you know, cost-effective cutting fluids. So yeah, we've got products in here, uh, something like this, we've been diluting about 70 to one. Uh, I think our, our lowest product in, in the standard range is about 40 to one for top-up dilution. So it's extremely, you know, it goes a long way. And what makes a good coolant or even a bad coolant? You know, what should people be looking out for? Well, the key thing is we've got about 20 or 15 cutting fluids here. These will all cut all materials to degree. It's about selecting the, you know, the, the most suitable one for whatever the, you know, the end user is doing. A lot of subcontractors are doing a lot of materials. Nobody wants three or four coolants. So it's just about selecting the one that suits the customer's needs. And if we focus on some of the uh, some of the IP, some of the products, I know you've got a new Ultra Cut. Yeah, we do. We've got this uh, chap here. If I can find it, yeah. So it's quite striking, as you'll see. Uh, which was one of the reasons we, you know, that we wanted to launch it. We wanted to do something just that little bit different. Everybody's used to seeing these white milkies. Okay, so this is a semi synthetic. It's got about twenty five percent mineral oil in it. It's a multi purpose dual cutting and grinding fluid. It looks great, it cuts great, mm -hmm. and you know, early signs from, from the, the, the early customers and the trials have run been really, really positive. So when you say general purpose, across this broad range of materials, aluminium up to some of the more challenging materials. Yeah, we've got that cutting in canals at the moment in the oil and gas industry. This week we'll be cutting uh, in an aluminium foundry, so we'll, be, we'll really be testing it in aluminium. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really multi-purpose. And the other thing to talk about with coolant, obviously, uh, sump life, obviously the coolant itself, but the add-ons, the, the, you know, the, if it lasts longer, you're not changing it, the machine's not down, arguably a better coolant, better longer tool life as well. These are the things we need to factor in when making a decision about our metal cutting fluids. Yeah, absolutely. People spend a lot of money on CNC machine tools, as you'll know. They spend a lot of money on the most advanced carbide, and then they forget that they're not supporting it with the best type of cutting fluid. So, so this is a crucial part of, of what you're doing in your process. So yeah, sump life, machine uptime is, is massive in the industry. Uh, if a machine's sitting idle because I can't smell and the other thing is unplanned. You know, if people are having mm -hmm. to do it without planning it into their schedule, then that, that can be really difficult. So the final part of the pie, I think, Ian, obviously you make very good products, but some of your competition also make good products. So how about the aftercare that's offered from Rocal? Absolutely. I mean, most people are in this industry don't survive unless they make good products. So there's loads of good products out there. We run a service program called UltraCare. 
So what we do is we support our customers. So from a, a health and safety point of view and an HSE compliance point of view, what we do is we go in, we do the service and the maintaining, and we, we look after the cutting fluids for them. That all comes as part of a package. It's anywhere from a small charge to a free, a free offering, depending on the size of the account. Yeah, well, there we are. For more information about all the products you see here and UltraCare, get in touch with Rocall.